Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play SG-1000 games on your mini system. If you're not familiar with the SG-1000, it was Sega's first home console released a couple years before the Master System. It was only released in Japan and some other Asian countries, so it's not surprising if you haven't heard of it. Before we begin, a quick recap on how to mod your mini. In HackGCE, you want to go to the Kernel tab and install Repair. It'll ask if you want to flash the custom kernel, click yes. Plug your mini system into your PC and while holding reset, power on. Hackchi will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. First we want to go to the modules tab and to the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD retrowork tab. Select your version of retrowork. Then click download module. Next go to the KMFD cores tab. Scroll down till you get to the Sega systems. The SG-1000 won't actually be listed here, but it runs with a core that we're familiar with if you play Sega games. We want Genesis Extreme GX, and again, it's not listed over here, but this is the core you want. Once again, download module. Close out the mod hub, go back to your modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Genesis Extreme GX and RetroWork, then click OK at the bottom. Once everything's installed, you will get this done message. To add your game, simply highlight and then drag them directly into Hackchi. On some games, Hackchi will automatically find the box art and fill in the description for you. But on other games, you'll have to do this yourself. Although Hackchi fills in your command line automatically, this is not the correct command line. Let me show you how to fix that. Highlight both your games, and right click, go to Select Emulation Core. In the next window, highlight your games again, select Sega SG-1000, and then Genesis Plus GX again, Click apply, then close. Once your command line is changed, the last step is to go to the synchronized selected games with many button down at the bottom or export to USB if you're using external storage. Remember, you can always go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. That's all there is to it. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. All right, first up is Flicky. Looks like it started fine, and it's running really well. Kind of a uh, creepy, cursed version of Flicky. Next up is Bomb Jack. Once again, the game started up fine, and it's playing perfect. I really like the graphic style in this version of video game history. They did a lot with the negative space to make little details on the characters. And that's all there is to it. Remember, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord or subreddit to ask for help if you need it. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.